the earth will shake. Destiny awaits you. It's time now for our last call. And as you heard there, yeah, the earth is indeed shaking. Uh, that was the trailer for the new Lion King prequel, Mufasa. Beyonce reprising her role as the lioness Nala from the 2019 blockbuster. But it's her eldest daughter with Jay-Z, Blue Ivy. Yes, yeah, she's the one joining her in this film. It's an amazing situation here. She's taking on the role of Kiara, which is the lion cub born to Nala and Simba. So Blue Ivy, I mean, she's already a Grammy winner, the second youngest in history for the video to Brown Skin Girl, a song that was inspired by the Lion King. She was seven when that song was released. I want to bring back my panel here, uh, LZ, Heidi, Mike. We all uh, thank you all so much for being here, Barbara, as well. So a reminder to everybody that The Lion King is a Disney film, and Disney, of course, is the parent company of ABC. Um, so, LZ, let's just get your take here. I mean, what do you make of the, the casting initially of Blue Ivy? I'm here for it. I'm definitely here for it. I mean, think about all the experience she's already gained by performing in tons of thousands of people this past summer or a couple summers ago now with her mother. So I'm here for it, and listen... Rumi, her sister, just beat her record on Billboard as having the youngest voice on a Billboard charted single. So she needed something to come back with. This is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they talk about the competition in that household, right? Uh, Heidi, what's your take? Listen, the apple doesn't fall very far from the trees. <laughs> no Let's put it that way. This is an incredibly talented family, and it speaks to the genetics and the ability that they have to entertain, but also to put every amount of energy and heart into it. Good for them. Can't wait to see no it. No kidding. No kidding. You know what I keep thinking about, Barbara? How neat it must be to work uh, alongside her mom in this movie and to really like see her mom in her mode, you know? Oh, it just looks so funny. You know, family that sings together wins those awards together. And I love <laughs> The Lion King. So getting to uh, watch another Lion King version with my granddaughters and grandkids will be awesome. <laughs> Yeah. You know, Mike, oftentimes people throw out the EGOT award, right? And sometimes people think, oh, it's a little bit too early. They've only won a Grammy or whatever, which is the case for Blue Ivy. But I don't know if it's too early to start wondering if she's going to be the youngest ever to win an EGOT. I think she will. And, Kane, I'm probably going to say before she graduates high school at this rate. Um, but I'm super excited for Blue Ivy. She is so grounded. Uh, she is really embracing the spotlight with such TV. grace uh, and with such humility. Uh, I love what Barry Jenkins, first of all, shout out to Barry Jenkins. I'm a huge fan of him as a director. Uh, I, I love what he said about, you know, them working as mother and daughter in real life really transferred onto the screen uh, to play mother and daughter uh, in The Lion King. And so I think that chemistry is going to jump right out of the screen. And I cannot wait until December to see this movie. Just prepared for all the box office numbers to be shattered, I'm sure, with this one. Yeah, no kidding. You're so right, Mike. I mean, to think about, like, it is an actual mom talking to her daughter in those moments. I love it. Yeah. All right, that's it for our last call for this half hour. LZ, Heidi, Barbara, and Mike, thank you to all of you. And thank you for streaming with us. I'm Kana Whitworth. Follow ABC News Live on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and more. And coming up here at 7 p.m. Eastern, be sure to catch ABC News Live Prime with Lindsay Davis for the day's biggest stories and the impact they have on you. The news never stops. Neither do we. Keep it right here on ABC News Live.